what we have here is we have the, the public Mojo uh, GitHub repository. And what you'll first see is we have two branches. We have a, a main branch and a nightly branch. And the way to think about this at a high level is main tracks the stable max release that includes Mojo. And so that was recently the 24.2. Um, and then we have a nightly branch, which is um, much further along. It, it, you know, there's, that's, where all the, that's where all the fun action is happening on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, and so here we've updated a lot of documentation and we now have a stidlib directory here. And so if you jump over here, we have a readme that outlines, you know, uh, what what the Mojo standard library is, what we've made public, our vision document, our roadmap for what the team is going to be working on the, this quarter, um, some areas that we welcome contributions, how to contribute, so how to get involved, even if you don't want to write code. There's a lot of ways to help out and engage with the community uh, with existing GitHub issues and triaging and helping other users, reviewing pull requests. Uh, there's lots of ways to get involved. Um, so I recommend everyone to go check out these docs. Uh, specifically, like the contributing doc talks about ways to join us in the Discord community, um, submitting bugs, uh, how to write a good bug report, uh, ways that you can contribute, and changes we accept, changes we're not looking to accept yet. Um, so, so specifically, like some of the questions were around, like you know, are we ready to accept like a big new networking module, like? Um, I'd say not yet, uh, but we do recommend any big changes go through our RFC proposal process. Uh, we recently had a proposal come in for like a bytes type and representation of you know using signed in date versus UN date uh, for strings specifically. Um, and so we'll take a look at things like that. Um, and you know we welcome proposals, and you know we're looking forward to building with the community here for the standard library. And so I think we're going to jump over to a terminal here and do a little live demo. Um, and so what we're, what we're in here, we, we are in the Mojo public repo that I was just showing you. And uh, what we have here is we have the stidlib directory. So if we, if we go look around in here, what we have is we have scripts, source, test, et cetera. Um, so source is all of the library source files, like you know, all the implementation of you know, various things that people have been using for many months now. Test contains all the unit tests for the standard library. And the scripts directory contains just a few little uh, simple bash scripts for how do you build and test the standard library. Um, so specifically, like, let's just do something here where we're going to, if we do stidlib scripts run test, and we can go take a look at what this guy is doing. We'll kick that off. Um, so what this guy is doing is it's creating a build directory, and then it's building the standard library. It's just calling another script here. And then there's another particular source package, this test utils thing. And then we're, we're running all of the tests using a particular test executor, which is called lit. Um, and so over here on the left pane, we see that we ran all the tests. We, we built the standard library, and then we ran all the tests. And so what I'm going to do now is kind of walk through the flow of what it may look like to make a modification and act like you were a contributor to the standard library to show how easy it can be to get involved. And you can always work your way up in terms of complexity. And so over here, I have added a new test case here, this test pool. So we have uh, our, uh, one of our fundamental uh, primitive types is called int, cap int. And it has a dunder bool method. So if we go take a look at that guy, what it does is it an integer is just a wrapper around a value. And the truthiness, as told by this dunder bool method, is saying, you know, it's comparing itself to the value of zero. And so if we take a look at this new test case here that we added, we have we construct a variable of type int with value zero. We expect it to be false, as told by dunder bool. And then we have the, the opposite case here where we create a value of one and we expect that guy to be truthy. Um, and so the, just to show that one of, the, one of the powerful things that we needed to make happen when you're contributing to the standard library is typically Mojo ships with its own stidlib Mojo package. And that's how you guys have all been able to access the stidlib for the non-contributors. But if you're contributing to the standard library, you need to tell Mojo, go build my standard library that I just modified and use that one for running the test. And I'll show how that works. But just as a, as a proof here, we have that this test case that I just wrote here on 66 on the right, that guy is passing. And if we go, let's go make that test fail. So like if we change the semantics here, 
to just you know flip the condition, for example, and we just rerun this, this is going to rebuild our standard library based on the change that I made at 418 in the implementation of the Dunder Bool method. And now we're gonna get a failing test. In this particular case, I was running all of the tests, which is probably a little bit overkill. So let, let's go ahead and just uh, run that one particular test, which is in, uh, it's in the built-in directory. And so we actually see that that guy had a failing test. And right now there's a lot of room for improvement in our particular unit testing framework and reporting errors at like which function failed. But this is just a simple case demonstrating that I changed the semantics of the implementation that went on in the standard library. We properly rebuilt the standard library and used that in testing our thing. And so this is just a quick little example flow of you know how to get involved with the standard library and fixing bugs and writing new APIs and that sort of thing. And so if, for those that are curious at home, the way that this works is there's a particular environment variable here, which is this modular Mojo nightly import path. And what this tells the Mojo compiler to do is it basically says, it gives you an order of search paths, if you will, for where to find that stidlib.mojo package, as, I, as we commented here. And so we're, tell, we're, we're adding the build root, which is where that uh, particular stidlib mojo package that we just built is. So in here, you see the stidlib.mojo package. That's the one that it's actually picking up when running the tests. And it's the same case for the examples if you go look at the lit config file there. And so that's kind of how all the magic works right now.